Yeah, it's it's difficult because um, I know at times when I'm on the court, like you know, I've always got frustrated and um, you know, sort of showing my emotions on on the court. And there's no question at times in the last eight ten months, it's you know, it's been you know affecting me in, in the matches and at times during my career. I'm aware it's not that side of things hasn't hasn't been perfect, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't feel like out of control, like on the court. Then feel unbelievably frustrated whilst I was playing. I was, you know, trying to, yeah, just try and stay a little bit calmer. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if that was a, a you know reason for me not not playing well or not, but. Yeah, you know, definitely, definitely a flat performance. And with that stuff, yeah, there is a balance to it because I would say, like, you know, like someone like Novak is a good example. Like for me to look at, like, he's not perfect on the court. Sometimes he will get frustrated and everything. But you know, the when he's playing the points, you know, he's focused and intense on every single every single point he he plays. Um, and I think that's when I would play generally my best tennis um, when it's like that. But like I said, at times the last year or so, it hasn't, you know, it has been distracting me like during the points and everything. So something that needed to needs to be needs to be addressed. But yeah, bizarre feeling on the court today. You did look quite emotional at the end. I'm wondering if you were emotional and do you think that might have been a way of farewell to, to Melbourne? Was that something going? Through your mind? Well, yeah, I mean, definitely, yeah, definitely a possibility. Um, yeah, there's definite possibility that would be the last time I play here. Um, and yeah, I think, yeah, just probably because of, yeah, how, how the match went and everything. Like, I don't know, like, whilst you're, whilst you're playing the match, you, you know, you're obviously trying to you know, control like your emotions, focus on the points and everything. And then when you're like one point away from the end, it's like, I can't believe this is over like so quickly um, and like this. So, yeah, like in comparison to the matches that I played here last year, it's like the complete opposite feeling walking off the court. Like, yeah, wish I, yeah, involved the crowd more or like, yeah, just, Disappointed with yeah the way that I played and all of that all of that stuff so yeah tough tough way to to finish. Um, and I just thinking going forward as you assess what what the next sort of month or year uh, holds, do, do you are you going to sort of just think about it on your way home? Will you discuss it with your family or your coaching staff? I've spoken to them about it. I've spoken to my family about it. I've spoken to to my team about it. They're, well, yeah, they're very aware of how I feel about things and you know where I where I would like to you know finish playing and, and when when that would be. Um, I haven't made any definite decisions on on that, but yeah, it's obviously something that I need to. Yeah, need need to think about um, and see. Yeah, see exactly when when that is. But yeah, I, I have spoken to my team about it. I've spoken to my family about it multiple times. It's not like it hasn't been something that's been on my mind.